I'm going to kick myself because I meant to make this comment earlier. The assessing department does not use the income approach in its models. No income approach? We just heard a 20-minute presentation on the income approach that the assessing department doesn't even use. Unrealistic rents? And their low was $2,700? Yes. They're low? Correct. That was what was reported to me. And we verified that because I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> I did not call the person back, but that was the income statement that I sent out in the spring, and that's what they returned to me. I, I, I just do not believe there is an apartment in this town that's renting for anywhere near that kind of money. The assessor can't make a correction? He's asking for a number, and we don't, in our models, have a way to put in a number. What if there's no income? Well, the trouble with it is, is to market these properties for sale, hotels, apartments, it's based on income. Right. <laughs> Which isn't fair. No. So do I believe somebody's going to come in and pay $7.89 million for Century Apartments? No. Or even close to that. Right. You know, I just look at some of these graphs, like this one, for instance, mm -hmm. how close it runs mm -hmm. till here. Assessments go here and our number, the income goes there. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's almost running perpendicular until the last three or four years. I mean, nothing is appraising in this market right now for cost. I mean, you can even take the La Quinta that I'm involved in, everybody knows. I mean, it, um, we have it listed for half of what would cost us to build. Right. Right now. Mm -hmm. exactly. I think that we agree that almost $8 million may not be fair in today's market. Right. And you just think of things holistically of where our market is. You can tell just at glancing that, that these numbers are off, that, yes. that they don't make sense. I'm not disagreeing that apartments aren't still overvalued. We show that with the two recent sales, but we're now less than 10%, where we were much higher than that. We were 60% overvalued on some of those sales. 10%? Are you kidding me? Joe, you really well, can just look at it logistically and go, there's no way that somebody's going to come in and write out a check for seven point some million dollars for Century Apartments. There, there is that common sense factor, if you will, with Century Apartments. But then what do you do with the other large complexes, Sierra Ridge and all of those? They will all be back. And they won't, you know, they'll be asking for the, the same thing. And but in the end, isn't the point to be close to what it's worth? Not what, I mean, do we want to assess something for double its worth? I mean, is that, is that, is that our goal? Because it doesn't make any sense to me. So you can't keep assessing and using 2015 at peak values for your value going forward. That's, that's unrealistic. We are in agreement that the current assessed values are too high. After all of that, can you believe the County Board of Equalization did not correct my assessments because they were afraid somebody else might want their assessments corrected too?